welcome back to my channel outrageous curls where we get the curls popping and we keep it popping and look at my curls healthily popping under this hairstyle dude yo 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 pop 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 and i hope your curls are popping too i am looking to do more protective styles with my hair as we are in that winter time weather is just cold the temperature is freezing and of course with this cold temperature there is less moisture in the air which causes our hair to be dry and all curly hair types to be dry but of course it's like double the time it's two times worse for curly hair because our hair is already dry so that's just great so of course we need to find ways to keep that moisture in our hair as much as possible so protective styles are great I will be sharing this hairstyle on Instagram. I have linked my Instagram account down below for you guys to check out where I share healthy curly hair tips. And of course, what these all equate to is healthier hair growth. Let's get into it. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing with you the curly hair pattern chart. Like, the reason why I want to share this with you is I've been doing lots of videos that is tailored towards transitioning hair. And I did start to think about the time I started transitioning and the information I started to find out about how to get curly hair, what kind of curls that I can, I'll be getting. And of course, when you're reading it, it's just so overwhelming. It's a whole new world, curly hair. And learning, of course, about your curly hair is a lot of depth and a lot more depth than you think. Especially when, when I first started off, I thought it was going to be a walk through a park with my curls. I thought I would just get boom, curly hair like that in a week. And following a curly hair routine that I tailored towards myself that I thought worked well. And, and I thought once I'd done that routine, i would get the curly hair at one. And it was like, no, it did not happen that way. And I used to say, would spend honestly like five hours with my hair just making sure and finding ways to make sure I got the curls that I wanted and the curls that I've seen as well when I first started looking towards natural curly hair and it doesn't work out that way because of course I had transitioning hair I did not know what curls I'll be getting in a strange way if you're like me who hasn't seen their curly hair since they were like nine years old you don't know what kind of curls you'll be getting and it's strange to try and figure it out and wait for the hair growth to come through because once you know your curl pattern you know what you need to it kind of starts a basis of the hair products that could potentially work for your hair the kind of styling products as well that will get those curls defined because there are certain things like mousses for example these are great for looser curls but with tighter curls, especially tighter curls like mine, a mousse is not the best kind of product to get the curl definition for me. If I put a mousse in my hair, it will just have curl definition for literally a minute and it'll be gone and they'll be frizz and my curls will get dry. And so of course it may work for one curly hair type, but it won't work for another curly hair type. So that's what curly hair types do. It helps to define what kind of styling products that could, that will work best for your curls to get the curl definition that you are after for, like for your curly hair type. Here is an image of the Andre Walker hair typing system. Andre Walker developed this hair typing system in the 1990s. He provides a hair type chart which has been split into four hair types and these go into subtypes which is A, B and C. You may notice that type 3 and type 4 does not have a type C for both as this was later added to the curly hair type charts. So of course we've got type 1 which is straight hair, then we've got type 2 that is wavy hair then we've got type 3 that is curly hair and then we have type 4 this is called coily hair and again with these hair types of course there's even more variations so they go into three subcategories which is A, B, C so you've got 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, 2C, 3A, 3B, 3C, 4A, 4B, 4C. 
Sounds like a weird song. I hope someone does a remix of this if they watch in my video. That would be awesome. Like, I'd love to be one of those YouTubers that would get that remix. <laughs> but, so now what I'm going to be sharing with you is I'm going to be doing a breakdown of each of each subcategory of the hair types. Here is type 3 hair, which is classed as curly hair. Put in a strand of type 3 curly hair, you will notice it has a definite S shape. However, there is a definite curl pattern in place with or without hair products. This hair type is fully bodied, climate dependent, which means depending on the humidity, it can be frizz prone and damage prone. It is key to have a good curly hair routine to get those curls moisturized and to get those curls popping. Lack of proper hair routine renders dull curls. Type 3 curls are very shiny and loose. It can be thick with lots of body but tends to be frizzy. So it is best to twirl small sections of curls around your finger while your hair is still damp to encourage curl definition during your curly hair routine. Curling mousses are the best styling products for this hair type as it does not weigh your curls down. Type 3B curls are bouncy ringlets, spiral like curls with a medium amount of curls. Use anti-humectant which is humidity blocking styling cream or styling milk to get more curl definition. These products are great at moisturising your curls at the same time too. Type 3C, these curls can be very kinky and very tightly curled with a lot of hair strands that are densely packed together. Curling gels and curling jellies are great to help define these curls. Type 4 is kinky or also known as coily hair. This tightly coiled hair is quite fine and fragile. It is wiry and delicate by nature. Each strand usually has a zigzag pattern. Kinky hair is the driest hair type, thus it is more prone to breakage and requires a gentle touch of TLC. A misconception exists that this hair type does not grow, which is far from the truth. Kinky hair grows at the same rate as any other hair texture. However, if not treated properly, it can break more than other hair textures. So make sure to treat this hair well by cleansing gently, detangle softly and avoid harsh chemicals. Type 4A, this hair type tends to be very fragile, tightly coiled and has a more defined curly hair pattern. Use thicker emollients like shea butter to maximise your washing goes and curling gels and curling jellies to help define the curls. Type 4B, this hair type is also very fragile and tightly coiled. This is more Z shaped curls. Pre-poo with coconut oil or castor oil to help retain natural oils in your scalp. Twist outs and braid outs are great to help define the curls. And last one, type 4C. This hair type is similar to 4B, except the difference is the curls are very tightly kinked and the Z pattern is also very tight. Use a creamy humectant as a leave-in to protect your curls from the elements. You can do twist outs or braid outs to help define the curls and make sure to treat these curls with as much care as you can. So from those hair types that I've now explained to you, you're probably looking at your own hair thinking now what curly hair type do i have and it's also interesting to think it's not just the one curly hair type it's actually essentially two you could have two curly hair types in your hair and i've come across that with my own curls i'll be like in this image as you'll see here i've got a mix of 3c for a curly hair type and I used to use a lot more creams and focus and I didn't really use gels and like curling jellies to style my hair and to get that curl definition and that's because I used to think I only had the one curly hair type which was the 3C but when I noticed the very fine curls and there were ones that looked more Z is shape than an S shape that's when I thought Hmm, maybe I should look into a gel because this kind of curly hair type also likes a gel and when I double checked and did more research on 3C hair I discovered that also with 3C hair a gel is quite good to have good to use to style the curls and get those enhanced and from then onwards my curls have been so defined especially with these two styling products so if you have a similar hair type to me and you like a gel or a curling jelly where it absorbs into your hair it's non-sticky or not too sticky like most gels 
and and it's also almost crunch free and it's also flake free that is one of the worst fears when it comes to looking for a curly hair gel when you come across one and you think oh this is great i'm gonna try this one out and then you get flakes like white flakes like no tomorrow and it looks like dandruff it's just like such a pain because you've got to be final stage of your curly hair routine only to get snow in your hair it's just mm -mm, not fair but try these ones out i have not ever had any flake issues they you, only, you don't need to use a lot a little goes a long way and the smell is so good i love it when you are looking at the curly hair chart try not to think that you might have this curl type when it actually isn't your curl type at all i used to do that i used to think i had a 3b 3c curls in my hair and like i said i used more creams and styling milks to get my curl definition but my curl definition wasn't there because my curls were actually more of a 3c 4a and i needed to use gels rather than light styling milks to get the curls the curl definition of my actual curls not or something that i think it is so try not to start to put yourself in a box of what you want but actually learn to accept the curls that you have and because from from my previous experience i used to focus more on the curls that i wanted rather than the curls that i have and it was that case of self-acceptance like the idea of the self-love with your hair or like with your personality and the way you look also the same with your hair applies to that as well like if you love your curls and you learn to love your curls for what they are they in a strange way like respect you back <laughs> like a this bump but appreciate the curls you have and love the curls you have and they will honestly love you back one thing you might be asking me during this video is curly hair pattern important to get my curls and you know what's strange for me to say the answer is actually no your curly hair pattern isn't the thing you should always focus on and it's great once you know what hair pattern you have once you know great done it's you kind of know the curls you've got and the curls that you need to take care of and once you know the styling product that's great however there is another thing that is more important that is key to getting your hair healthy and i'll be sharing that in the next video which is hair porosity that is kind of the main one you should always focus on when it comes to your curls because that is the one that helps get the moisture in your hair and of course once you've got the moisture in your hair that will promote healthier curls which again is hair growth so hair porosity is your main thing you should always understand as much as you can with your curls because once you know it that's it your curls will be stronger they'll be healthier and you notice a change a lot quicker once you know your hair porosity i did not know my hair porosity for a very long time during my first curly hair journey and it wasn't something i could understand when i first read it so i thought it would be good to do a video and i also will be sharing a test on what determines your hair porosity and that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up um a big thumbs up and also comment below as well what you took from this video and what you didn't know before and also if you've got any questions where you think actually i need a bit more information like i don't understand this i don't understand that just comment below with your questions and queries i'm more than happy to help out i'm more than happy to help you out and also welcome any newbies i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm so happy that you made it to the end as well because if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the curly hair fun and how to grow healthy curly hair and also get those curls popping and also as well don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of the curly hair uploads i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye